Well, Valley woman looking for answers. She's being billed more than $9,000 for irrigation water, she says, dating back to the 1960s. She turned to five on your side. Channel 5's Monica de Anda answered that call. Margarita Avalos has been living on a Grace Lane in Brownsville for more than 50 years. That's why she was surprised when she received a letter in the mail last week stating she owed thousands of dollars. It was 1966 when Margarita Avalos moved into this home with her family. Fast forward 54 years and a lot has changed. All oh, that area there was orchard and that other property was uh, farmland. Avalos claims her family never used irrigation water. So when she got this letter in the mail last Thursday, stating she owed $9,680.57 to Cameron County Irrigation District 6, Avalos felt blindsided. I saw it and I was like, I was shocked. And then, well, who do I go? What do I do? Which, I mean, I'm still, like I said, confused because I don't know why. Why? The charge is for irrigation water usage from 1967 to 2001. Why did it take so long? I mean, so many years in, in uh, you know, sending me or charging this much. Avalo says her family found a different way to water their properties. We had to dig wells to get the water. And then um, after that, uh, I don't remember when they uh, get the city water here. It's been more than a decade since Avalos says she's been paying the city. That's why she wants to know why now. I don't think it's just fair to do to uh, to be uh, or pay something for you to what for what you didn't have. Channel 5 News went to Irrigation District 6 in Los Fresnos. A representative told us they've been sending notification letters to that address since the 1960s. They also say since the properties the family owned were inside the irrigation water boundary, they are ultimately responsible to pay for the water, even if they didn't use it. The irrigation district says $7,000 of that bill is interest that's been accumulating since 1967. They ask anyone who may receive a letter from them to make sure they pay close attention to it and not dispose of it immediately. Now, as for Avalos, she says she'll be giving them a call tomorrow to try and set up a payment plan. Monica de Anda, Channel 5 News at 6.